amazing animals. Where do animals live? Well, that depends. This animal doesn't live in the same place as this one. Of course not. The sea otter lives in water and the zebra lives on land. Animals living in water can live in a pond, like the fish, or in the sea, like the whale. Animals living on land can live in the garden, like the butterflies, also in the desert. Do you know which animal lives here? Of course, the camel, and also in the forest, like among other animals, the monkey does. All these places, which are natural homes for animals, are called habitats. In their habitats, animals can find three things. Food, water, and also shelter. Animals have different body parts, which are specially adapted to survive in their own habitat. Now let's have a look at these special body parts that some animals have which help them move and survive in their habitat. Let's start with animals living on land, like the birds that live in the forest and move in the trees. How do they do this? Yes, they have wings. Birds fly with their wings. Now monkeys, they use two special body parts. Monkeys swing using their arms and tail and they move in the trees. Now the kangaroos, what do they do? Yes, they hop. Kangaroos hop with their legs, just as bunnies do. Now the camel, do you know what is special about them? How do you call that they have in their back? Okay, that's a hump, because camels have humps to store fat and this helps them to survive in the desert. Now moving to animals living in water. Let's start with fish. Fish swim with their fins and also with their tails. What about the sea turtle? Sea turtles swim with their flippers. And how do ducks move in the water? Well, their webbed feet help them do that. Now, talking about other characteristics about animals in general, we can say they can be useful or harmful. Useful animals are those who give us food. For example, the hen and the cow are useful animals because they provide us eggs and milk. And that is good. However, they are also harmful animals. For example, the mosquito. The mosquito can bite us and also spread diseases, and that's no good. Another example of harmful animals are rats. They can carry germs and make us sick. So be careful with these two. They are not good at all. So, what have we learned about animals today? Well, they live in different habitats, they have different body parts, and they can be useful or harmful. Thanks for watching. If you want a guide to work on this video with your students, you can find the link below to download it for free. Also, don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next video.